Derby Wallaby here, and welcome to Cheap Ass Wrestling Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I have returned from a sore throat. And what's this? Bumbles is coming. Bumbles, 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 Brown. Oh, shit, oh. And look at Bumbles. Oh, my goodness. He's got a cast, and he's holding a crutch. After last week's attack from the Red Sun, he did land improperly and did hurt his leg. We'd, we'd received the injury part earlier, but we're too cheap to totally keep up with it. And also, I, want, I don't want to forget to mention that we are broadcasting in Craptacular Cheapo Vision. Last week, the Red Sun tried to make an example out of me. He tried to injure me. He was trying to turn, he was trying to make it all red, everything. You know, he hurt me bad. But the truth is, he needed his son to help me. But it don't matter, because at the end of the day, I'm still Bumbles. I'm still the champ. And just because he injured me, I will defend my title at the season finale against the Red Sun to show him that I will fight through the pain to prove that Cheap Ass Wrestling Sunday, Sunday, Sunday will, is the greatest wrestling organization in the world. So, Red Sun, if you got any dignity left, why don't you come on out and I'll fight you right here, right now. Hello, Comrade Bumbles. How are the turnips today? What? There are no turnips? I apologize. Someday, there will be turnips. I don't need to hear any about your turnip crap. I notice you have red cast and red crutch. I see you are starting to turn over to the side of Russia. No. I got them both red as a reminder because as a reminder of what you did. A reminder that you, that I'm going to take you out at all costs. At any cost, I'll take you out. Sure you are, comrade. You think cheap wrestling Sundays are going to stay the same? I injured you. I broke you. It doesn't matter how hard you try. With that broken leg, you are useless. You are a weak American. And tonight, I'm going to make example. Out of whoever challenged me, I hear you're not allowed to compete tonight or next week. But, season finale, they say you shouldn't as well. So why don't you just save yourself the embarrassment and hand me title now? Hmm? Sounds more logical, does it not? You think I'm gonna listen to my doctors? I'll fight tonight, I'll fight next week, and I'll fight at the finale to kick your ass. Cause I bumbles and I fuck shit up. Sure you do, sure you do. Yeah, 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 that's all nice and dandy, but... You are nothing. I will break you. You already said that. I can't get over how many times I say. Even cat in background knows I will break you. You know what? You think your son is so... You think your son is gonna... You know what? Why don't we make it interesting, huh? I'm listening. Your son... Your son against my son. Well, they have a confrontation here. These two are... You know, I thought about that. You have, uh, what is his name? Uh, Mumbles, yes. Well, Mumbles versus Soul Claw. Hmm. Sure. And you know what? The winner of that match decides the special stip to it. Whichever son wins, the uh, 
father gets to choose stipulation for title match, yes? You know what? Hell yeah, cause I'm so confident that Mumbles could kick so Claw's ass with his hand tied behind his back. I'm willing to gamble that. Hmm, so you want son to put hand behind back? It's an expression. Ah, uh, expression. I still learn about those, yes. Well, actually, cause your son is going to need both hands to face my son, Soul Claw. And even then, he could not beat my son. My son is unstoppable monster, just like Papa. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. But there's a special stipulation to that match, and I'm adding it right here and right now. Okay, fair enough. You or me are not allowed to interfere in that match. Hmm, sounds fair. I agree. I accept your terms. But that's later tonight. Fair enough. I'm not going to take a quick commercial break. Cheap ass wrestling Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's brought to you by... Calamine Lotion. For when you have an itch that you're not supposed to scratch. And up in our first match of the night is a paper championship qualifier. Sail a will, a will, a won't go home. Cause Sailor can't win. Cause Sailor can't win. Sailor Willie here is there in the ring and his opponent is. Dark Funko. Hello, Red Pool, our old friend. We come to kidnap you again. The taste of Arby's gives you dysentery. It's complimentary. The taste of Arby's. And here comes Dark Funko all by himself. I apologize for the camera difficulties. We'd get a better cameraman, but we're too cheap. And there we go, Silly Willy and Dark Funkle are totally going at it. <coughs> They're going back and forth, and Dark Funkle, oh, a European uppercut. Up against the ropes, and he catches him with a dark funkle bomb. Oh, this is unprecedented, folks. Uh, he's getting him up, uh, but silly willy. Oh, he's going for a silly willy schoolboy. One, two, and dark funkle kicks out. And now dark funkle. Oh, with a dark funkle punch. And now what's he doing? He's going up top. I don't know what he's got planned. He's going for a moonsault. One, two, Silly Willy kicks out. Silly Willy is showing some initiative here. What's he doing his Silly Willy Samoan drop? <coughs> Says up. Now he's got him. He's going for a tombstone. Oh, he nails it. And he goes up to the ropes. What's this? Oh, Dark Funko out of nowhere. Dark Funko out of nowhere. One. Two, three, ding, 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 here is your winner, Dark Funko. Hello, Red Pool, our old friend. You, you come to kidnap you again. Oh, wait a second. There he is. It's Red Pool. He's attacking him. And Red Pool is supposed to be taking on. The meter man in a no interference match. But we're too cheap to do fancy music right now. So Red Pool is awaiting for the meter man. Oh, the meter man. 
ain't no joke and I meet a man. I ain't like other folk, meet a man. I ain't no joke and I meet a man. I ain't like other folk. I'm here to clean up cheap peppers on Sunday, Sunday, Sundays, and we'll start with you, Red Pool. Hi, Red Pool. Scab. Oh. Let me answer up. A pine by Serrano that made her. He's going for the mashed potato splat. Oh, he nails it. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Harry Joe went out of Red Pool. Red gon' give it to you. He gon' give it to you. Red gon' give it to you. He gon' give it to you. Hey, folks. Me, Redpool here. Celebrating this win with minimum effort. I'm here to break the second wall and eat mini tacos. And I'm all out of mini tacos. Oh, wait a second. Here comes Simon. Red Pool. The night shift at Arby's has become much stronger since the mind control Red Pool has entered the fray. So we're beginning to think that you're going to be let go. Because your services are no longer needed at the night shift of Arby's. Next week, you will face me one on one. If you lose, you're fired from the night shift at Arby's. I need that check, man. I can't lose. Then you better not. And the cheap-ass wrestling Sunday, Sunday, Sunday management has given me the night off. I just came to tell you that your job is on the line at Arby's. And the next match is... And the next match is... Soul Club taking on Mumbles. Mumbles, 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 Bounce. I fuck shit up, just like my dad. My name is Soul Club. I'm gonna turn you into coleslaw. My name is Soul Club, coleslaw. Yeah, this match is this match is dedicated to you, Papa. I'm going to win, and you are going to choose stipulation of match. I guarantee it. Ding ding ding! This match is underway, and yes, they are both peewees. So yes, the two peewees are going to go. Looks like the peewees division has returned, even if it's for one night only. Oh. These two are going at it. <clears throat> and he's taking him to Mumbleplex City. <clears throat> now Soul Claw, oh, with an iron clothesline. He's got him up for a Soul Claw bottom. <clears throat> One, two, and he kicks out. Oh, Mumble can run, huh? And he bounces off the rope. Oh, they both, they both hit each other at the same time. Wait a second, what the hell is this? Oh, that baloney scrotum grumbles his hair. Hmm, <laughs> Bumbles, I'm going to screw you over against the Red Sun. I'm going to make things a very difficult competition for you. Because it can't be a walk in the park. <laughs> and he's got his nephew up. Oh, with a grumble five, with a G5. And he puts Soulclaw on top of him. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Soul Claw. I told you I would win, Papa. I told you. Yeah. And the next match is Grumbles taking on Nardio.
Nardio, Nardio, for Nardio. And yes, this is a paper championship qualifier. And they're going right at it. And Nardio, oh, the giant knee to the face. Up, and he leapfrogged. And Nardio can run out. And he puts a turnbuckle. There he goes. He's going for a famous air off the top rope. Nails it. Nardio is totally on fire tonight. Reverse scoop. Reverse power slam. Oh. Run the ropes. What's that? Oh, and he leaps over. What's this? Oh, a sliced bread number four and a half. And Nardio's going up to the top. Nardio is up top rope. And oh, wee! I feels me on Nardio's. And Nardio falls down, of course. Says, now Grumbles has got him. Now he's going to give him a G5. Oh! One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Grumbles. And Nardio qualifies even further for the paper championship. And this next match, uh, the word of the day is, hmm, souffle, <laughs> and his opponent, Hello comrade, how are the turnips today? What? There are no turnips? I apologize. Someday there will be turnips. As for you, I am going to turn you into souffle. Ah! Oh, but wait a minute, what's this right here? He goes off to the red dawn right off the bat. One, two, three, ding ding ding. Here is your winner, the red sun. Bumbles, you have two more episodes until you lose title to me. And I will announce what kind of match next week. And Wee Wee Herman, of course, is out. And this next match is a We Don't Give a Shit match. Rustic Pizza, Rustic Housing, My Labradoodle Named Nancy. And there's Rustic Oh, that giant piece of crap. Boy, boo, boo, Ray's so scary. Boo, boo, I'm so creepy. And it's time to hide your children, folks, because it's Ray's so scary, oh, that scary piece of sh shit waffles. Francisco Fazbencha, Francisco Fazbencha. And that's Francisco face paint. And this is the main event of the night. It's a fatal fall, eh? And there we go. There I'm going at it. And Barricade is beating the, the living daylights out of Rustico. Rustic this is totally unprecedented. <laughs> Oh, he takes him out. It says Ray Soscario. He's going up top. Shooting star press. This is totally unprecedented. One, two, three. 
Good evening. Rustico has been eliminated from the frugal four-way. We totally forgot that it was a frugal four-way, not fatal, and it's in craptacular cheapo vision. And we're too cheap to upgrade. Apot says he's going after Reso Scario. Reso Scario slams him down. Apot says he's going to do a shooting star press. Oh, but the, the impact on it hurt his ribs. And we're too cheap. To give him decent medical care. What does Francisco face paint though? Sweet face paint music. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Reso Scario has been eliminated. And now Barricado. And now it's down to Barricado and Francisco face paint. But now Barricado is frozen in place because he lost his barricade. Just get that. Sweet face paint music. Oh, Barricade lands on his barricade. This is unprecedented. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Francisco face paint. Francisco face paint. Ciao. Francisco face paint. Ciao. What's this? We're just getting word that this match was actually a frugal forward to determine the first ever Chief Match Wrestling Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Intercontinental Champion. And so Francisco Face Paint is the first ever intercontinental champion. As soon as we can find it. Francisco Fast Pan has won. But they can't find the championship. Wait a second, that's mind control Red Pool. What the hell is he doing here? That, that dirty scrotum waffle. Oh wait, he's got the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, and he hits Francisco face paint over the head with it. This champ. Championship will belong to Mind Control Red Pool. Your days as champion are numbered. Season finale. I'm challenging you to a Baby Steps bullshit match. But we already, but we already know that Mind Control Red Pool is facing Red Pool at the season finale. You can't do that, Mind Control Red Pool. Oh, then I challenge him next week. 
and I will defend the title against Redpool at season finale. Well, I've just talked to management and they okayed it. Good. Enjoy. Enjoy your inferior reign as champion. You might as well compete for paper championship when I am done with you. Well, folks, we are leaving tonight here, and this is Darby Wallaby signing off on Cheap Ass Wrestling Sunday, Sunday, Sunday in Craptacular Cheap Vision. Stay tuned for next week's, next week when we only have two episodes left, two episodes left this season, and who knows when season three will start. Only time will tell. Derby Wallaby signing off and wishing you all a good night.